Hey everybody, it's Post Games here. Welcome back to Stellaris here with the Federation of Elector Systems. We last left off, we are finally expanding this way as we have planned. And we found out that Akamar is absolutely beautiful because we haven't even surveyed all of it. And there's so much, so much research, so much for resources just there. And we're also getting the trade hubs of Delaris and Jengal figured out, capturing all of the trade value locations within our borders, such as this molten world here, because we got Delaris, Derelis, which will capture Manward, Yelan, and Ramascus. And Jengal, which is already captured, I think I think it was Kerbal. It was. And Asmore. I think that's it, yes. And then Yerigana. Will capture Yerigana once they are finished with their building of trade hubs. So right now all is going good, other than the fact that we found out that uh, the Sathori are superior to us in naval power. So I'm not a huge fan of that. But it is how it is. Uh, we have other priorities right now. And that just happens to not be one of those priorities. System survey complete. You're heading down there. Okay, Akamar has been fully surveyed. What a beautiful system. And now we can... Oh, yes, I forgot about that. Let's get... Uh, you. Research Positron Bombardment. Because it actually, I think it might give us uh, added resources here on this world because that was kind of the thing it was talking about was at uh, was its large amount of resources on that world there our worlds aren't doing great um, I let them kind of manage themselves and they're still kind of they're kind of shitholes but I don't I don't really want to nick like nitpick all their work and have to do all that micromanaging let them do their thing if it happens to be poopy uh, then it happens to be poopy you build a star base there but other than that everything is going quite well I would say. There we go, Jengal has finished its second trade hub. So now we're pumping out uh seventeen it looks like from there. Drellis has also built its, so we need to hurry up and get our one of our pirating fleets. To patrol up there. Oh, and we don't even need a leader. Uh, so we hired a leader on our other one for not an incredibly good reason. But I guess uh, that's how it goes. But yeah, he is taking trade here from Manward. Jangle's gathering from here and from there. And from there. Perfect. So what is well, what's our trade kind of given us here? Special project complete. Oh, rock potential. Crew of the FESS Rectophallus, or please report that the experiment was a success. 
A signif significant number of dense mineral veins on Akamar 3 have been transmuted into usable resource. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Woo! 12 minerals now in the Akamar system. Oh, that's overpowered. And I love it. Both of these uh, to barren in this toxic world here. Alright, so that means that you can now uh, go survey that system there. You're already beginning your survey of this eight, eight places here. Kind of got a path going. Ooh, this is a big system. Okay, that's going to take a while. However, big systems do mean potential more resources. I guess we got to think of the positives like that there. Our relations keep going down. Um, don't know why. They they do very much hate us. One of, one of these days, we'll hopefully get better encryption so we can start sp actually spying on them. Head Electric Bud Light has leveled up. Where do I find him again? Oh yes, right here. Here it is, Head Elector Bud Light. He's an expansionist, a reformer, and war warlike. A very odd decision for a Niram, but uh, with the situation here, it's not the end of the world. It's not a bad thing. There we go, uh, Dorellis has finished its second trade hub. So new, we are now capitalizing on all trade within our borders. And of course, now they say that we have found five more trade value. And I am all for it. I love that. not what I want. I want to see my technology. Only 17 months. Do we get this population growth speed? More population equals more resources and more jobs. In all honesty, it's uh, it's not fully possible to play like a, a full libertarian playthrough of a game like this because, I don't know, in reality, technology wouldn't be a government, uh, a government ran thing, nor would a lot of the stuff going on here. Trade hubs wouldn't. Pretty much the military would be the only thing System I'd setting. I'd really run. Okay, SM system has been I'm gonna give you a survey here just so we get access. We can try to see more around that system. But lots of uh, exploration options from there. Construction complete. You're still making your slow butt over there because you're still in this. This dust cloud here is so annoying with how slow it makes all of our ships. So, so slow. And it's and it's something that you, you can't change. You'll never be able to get rid of it. At least that I know of. I don't know if you can change it. Maybe you can. 
This is uh, I haven't I haven't played a uh, of like an incredibly deep playthrough of this game yet. So there's still I might say something. It's probably not true all the time. Durellis platform. I should build a defense platform here, as it is our main source of defense right now. Oh, wow. The Pirate Haven. The FESS Sodomus reports that the fleet has encountered a significant pirate pre presence in the Gathrika system. Judging by preliminary scans of the immense ships and the stations harboring them, this is a historical pirate port and has likely been in uninterrupted operation since whatever ancient era that it first spawned these thieving marauders. We strike at the heart of this malice. Lucky enough... Hopefully, oh, it's missing an action. Could have just went back there. Could have just turned around. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. That's a, a little strong there, buddies. You've got cruisers. Cruisers made out of asteroids. Very, very cool. Just got a bunch of little privateers, little reaver classes, and then they've got a they've got a galleon. They've got a galleon made of what? One, two, three. I think that's I think that's three asteroids put together into a ship. That is very terrifying. And I'm also sad, because this means that this stupid F.E.S.S. Sodomus is going to return back to our capital. Not to our... not to... not to here. Not anywhere else. Not on our border here, in like, Manward, no. All the way back to our capital. Which means it will take all the time to get all the way up here and then back. What is good is that these pirates are out of the way. We don't have to go into this system for anything, because we can always just go up or down and go around it. Kind of just ignore the problem until we are forced, until we have the power to be able to deal with it. That's about it. Piracy is all good. Going perfectly fine. We have more, we have enough privacy in both of those trade routes. You are almost there, there you are, now you can start. Please tell me there's nothing here. Please tell me you can just, you can just start. Looks like it. That is a huge system. I'm assuming it's going to have the kind of the same resource amounts as, hopefully, the same resource amounts as Akamar here, since it's just beautiful in every way. I love it so much. Caravan system shipyard does have one trade. Which I think it's picking up the Norgon trade here. I think that's why I grabbed it. Can build buildings, uh, but you do have jobs already. Positions. So it's not the end of the world. Oh, I just can't wait. I can't wait till we get access to robot building. We'll just pump out robots like crazy. Produce all of the resources with the power of robots. Yes, you okay, you are back finally. Um I'd like you to survey down here.
I don't know why they send you back there instead of just... Because, like, sometimes they just turn around and go back. And sometimes they do this weird missing in action uh, stuff that I don't fully understand. Why it's a thing. Uh, build a research station there. And then I'll send you back to Yeleon to pick up the five energy credits there. We're producing a large amount of minerals mostly because of our pickup of 13 here in Akamar. Uh, just absolutely great. As you can tell, that made that just made my day. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to let things off here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like down below. Drop a comment, whatever you want to say. And if you want to do yourself a favor and me a favor, turn that little red subscribe button down below into a gray subscribe button. And if you want to join my Discord, it's in my YouTube About section. Three clicks and you can join. And you guys have a really good rest of your day.